Well, I'm, I'm Mike Nagy, the Guelph Green candidate, and uh, I want to thank you for listening to this little clip. And it's really about Let Elizabeth Speak and also my candidacy in Guelph and how what a pivotal, uh, pivotal and important role Guelph plays in the upcoming election. If the uh, currently Elizabeth is being blocked from being in the federal televised leaders debates by Jack Layton and, and Stephen Harper, um, Jim Harris was blocked in the last two uh, elections, and this is uh, we feel very undemocratic since the Greens are the fourth party in Canadian history to put candidates in all ridings in Canada, so everybody has a right to vote Green. Seventy-seven percent of Canadians say that they want. Uh, when polled, they want Elizabeth in the debates because they feel that she'll add a lot to the debates. Actually, and that's all, almost 85% in Ontario alone. And we feel that there's the, the excuses that have been used by the media and the others is that say, well, there's no one elected in the House. Uh, the Greens don't have an elected official, so therefore, why would we allow a leader, their leader on the debates? We think that's not a good excuse, but we, we can eliminate that excuse right here in Guelph. And by electing a, a Green MP, and that's me, even if it was a, for a short period of time and in a, in a, after a by-election, this will absolutely guarantee Elizabeth a spot in the leader's debates. So we are going door to door with a campaign. We have a Let Elizabeth Speak flyers, which you'll be getting in your doors and people will be coming to talk to you about. There's also a website, Let Elizabeth Speak, which is an online petition, which we really hope that you will sign. Even if you're not necessarily a Green supporter, you have a right, since the Canadians, taxpayer, Canadian taxpayers are giving money now with the Election Canada funding to the Green Party of Canada.